Hello, beautiful people. Losing Drea here. Who's losing my voice, actually, I think, too. So long. No see. I know. I always come on here. Man, I really am losing my voice. <clears throat> I worked a 16-hour shift yesterday, and I'm paying for it today. And not to mention, I only had a few hours sleep. And it's my birthday. And I'm not saying that so that everybody comes on here who does happen to watch my videos and does see this and starts wishing me a happy birthday. I started seeing some things come to me privately or through Messenger. So I kind of get the feeling that either people really do remember me and miss me and know that it's my birthday and remembered it was my birthday. Or they did see it on Facebook. I haven't checked yet. I don't go on Facebook much anymore because it is a time-consuming succubus I guess I don't know it takes more time for me away from my day and I need my time to do other things I'm still on keto I'm actually right smack dab in the center of ketosis right now I'm eating great again I had a little up, whatever you want to call it uh, during Easter I uh, went over to my brother's and prior to that um, I don't know I, I had gone to Georgia and um, ate a few of the things I shouldn't be eating. Today's my birthday. Am I going to eat cake? Hmm. I really don't know yet. There's no big plans for me. Uh, it's just my mom and I really for the most part right now. And there's no big plans um, to do anything spectacular. I'm, my brother would normally like take me out to Capitol Grill or something like that. And that's his style. He can afford it. Uh, so I get that, you know. I appreciate it when he does it, but I'm not expecting it. And um, I didn't plan anything. And I'd rather have steak than cake, if that makes any sense. Because I really don't want to keep doing Cheeto instead of Keto because it takes me forever to get back on the wagon. I would say forever, in a few days. But it's hard. It's a struggle. And for any of you guys who do watch me because you are on Keto and you have had your Cheeto, then you know it sometimes can take a long time to get back into the swing of things. Like Joni, Keto Diamond says, and she needs no plugging from me or mention, however, or may, may mention is plugging, but um, just make your next meal keto. And that's okay because, you know, you some people do want to live their lives, but when you're a food addict and you have a hard time, especially emotionally eating, um, I don't really binge eat. I will, in the moment, eat more than I probably should, but I don't see it as binging. I've watched shows in the past where they depicted people binge eating, kind of like 28 Days with Sandra Bullock, which was all about addiction and the different symptoms of addiction, which happened to be, you know, overeating, excessive, you know, drugs, smoking, what have you. But for me, um, I don't like to get to a place where I don't want to get out of or that I want to get out of and I have a hard time getting out of. Addiction for me is struggling with the idea that I can use something, whether it's food or shopping or something, to fix me or to fix the way that I'm feeling. And then the struggling with myself, whether I do any of that or not, just the fighting and the struggling with myself, my own mind, my thoughts, my emotions, to not do that because I really don't want to do that, you know? So I know what it is for people who are addicted to anything. The to anything part is the symptom. Addiction is the disease. A lot of people have the, what they call addictive personality or the addictive character trait or whatever that is. And some people say, oh, it's hereditary. It's a family thing. Some people say it, it, it stems from other things like some sort of a mental trauma or it could be even physical trauma like PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress syndrome, so stress can bring it on. And yes, when I'm stressed, it does spell desserts backwards. And when I'm going through stuff, whether it's, um, you know, a happy time or, or sometimes it doesn't have to be a sad time, I, I want to celebrate or I want to, um, you know, like say, wow, you know, like I deserve this. And Really, what I deserve is to be a healthier version of me, and I have been doing that. And to be 49 years young today, and to be feeling as good as I do, to be looking as good as I feel I do, there is no need for me to eat cake. Just saying. 
Anyways, this is not going to be one of those videos that's going to go on and on and on. I haven't been on here f with you guys for a while. I do need to do an update video, so I'm not going to make this like a big woohoo, you know, um, kind of video. I'm going to try to make more videos, and I have said that in the past, but I think less is more. So if I at least make a video and I just come on here and I say a few things, it doesn't have to be 20 minute long videos. It doesn't have to even be a 10 minute long video. It could be a five or seven minute video. Whatever the case may be, I really need to try doing better because this has always, this platform here on YouTube has always been the best tool that I could possibly, I'm focusing in and out, the best tool that I could possibly have, I'm going to back out into the light, for myself. See, now that I see that, it's like, ah, oh, I don't, I don't want to use this video. But, yeah, it's been the best tool that I can have for myself. And without being on here and being transparent and coming clean with all of you guys, you guys are like my accountability partners, you know what I mean? Like, even if you don't watch, if I think you might watch, and I come on here and I'm transparent about what I'm going through and what I'm doing in my life and or how I'm eating and, and how I'm handling my keto journey, then I'm less likely to um, mess up. And I don't want to keep messing up because it's harder to come back from a, from a mess up than it is to just keep on going, you know, eat a little something, big deal, don't have to make a big production over it. Hey, I cheated, you know. Um, everybody does, I think. I don't think there's a person in this world, even bodybuilders, I mean, there's, there's very few people that can live a very strict regimen of eating in their lives and not mess up and eat one thing that just isn't right because we all kind of have that little something in our head, I believe, that we tell ourselves, it'll be okay, it's just one. Whether or not we can stop at just one, that's another story for for itself and probably another video but anyways guys I gotta get going here I got a few errands to run I just wanted to come on say hi uh, welcome all my new subscribers if you haven't already done so please click the link down below to subscribe give me a thumbs up if you really like this video share it it supposedly helps as I've heard from many other youtubers and yeah, with that said, be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be, be the boss of your loss if you're on a weight loss journey. And I will most definitely be seeing you in one of my next videos, whenever that might be. Bye, guys. Be blessed. Mwah.